on marketing and what you try to drill into your students is to be professional even as an amateur. As an amateur. So you so you made some marketing mistakes early on and then uh, and maybe, maybe continue <laughs> sometimes. Some, yeah. Okay. So from the marketing standpoint, yes, you want to market. This is a marketing video. You want to constantly market yourself. But teaching or or helping your students to be a professional, even or be professional. Maybe they'll never be yes. a true professional yeah. in the sense that they derive all their income. But to be professional, to handle things professionally. We want to elaborate on that a little bit. Well, I think it's back to the simple thing. The the little children mm-hmm. book of I think I can, I think I can, the little train. And and when we think we can't, and our parents said if we, if we have teacher parents, pastors or anyone that can promote promote us and believe in us when we don't always believe in ourselves because the tendency is till we're there it's always fit for someone else. I can't do what she's doing. I can't do what he's doing. Uh, and again, I said many of those. And as long as we hold on to that, yes, we won't. And I would say the, the best, the DVD coming in classes, the hardest time is getting someone for the first time. Now tell me, what does a student think the first time you say, hey, I want you to show this at an art show? Or have you thought about selling a painting? Uh, sometimes they don't come back the next week. Okay, I've, I've lost many good men and women by sometimes pushing a little bit too much. So I, I do have to temper that a little. Uh, getting them to sign it—that is a major thing. To, if you've painted before, and because that tendency, what I hear is, "I'm I'm not good enough yet. It's not good enough yet." Well, you might be saying that three years from now. Just signing, just a signature. Now there is a video also that we've uploaded to YouTube. Uh, lady by the name of Marjorie. Yes. Yeah. And she yes. is. Around 85 years 85. old? 85. Uh, well, I, I, we, I normally I don't say the ages on those, but she's not here to slap me upside the head. Okay. Yeah, but she from her own, yes. Yeah, but, but, but here's a lady that didn't paint her whole life, has begun classes with you. You made the suggestion to maybe treat it professionally. She didn't smack you upside the no, head. No, And what's happened recently, she's had, she's had some offers? For, uh, well, she framed two of her drawings, which if you watch her other videos, you'll be able to see on there. Um, and she did some, two, three really nice paintings. And recently she just told me in class that she's had two or three offers to buy some of her paintings. Now here was a lady again that's only been in class for six months. And the neat thing behind, behind that story real quickly is another student had at the retirement center where I was teaching had been painting with me for five years. And this other lady had had a stroke when she was 29 and she was 79 at the time when she passed away. But had been talking to this lady Margie about coming to class. And Margie kept saying, I can't do it. Someday, maybe. I can't. And and then so Margie said, well, this lady who had had a stroke and partially paralyzed had been doing it all these years. So long story short, when uh, the other lady passed away, Margie's daughter, son and daughter-in-law bought her a, a birthday gift for my four-week course. That's how all this started. So from the day one, again, bigger fish to fry without scaring them too much. And she was nice enough to say, okay, I, I'm not sure if I can do this one, but you seem to think I can. That's what she said in her video that if you'll see on the other one that he kept saying I could do, I can do this. And so she's going to enter some art shows this year. She may not know it, but she's going to enter some art shows. There you go. So be professional even as an amateur. Yes. Treat it treat it like a business. Okay, well before you guys shut us off, uh, again Mark Perry with professional artist Bill Pattison. Check out all of Bill's work at BillPattisonStudio.com. You can check us out on Bill's Facebook fan page, Bill Patterson Studio, Google Plus. Yes, we're there. And uh, also the YouTube channel. Did I miss anything? Twitter. Uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, Twitter. We're everywhere. So anyway, good talking to you. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mark.